Hey guys, it's Martin, and uh, I am in, if you can't tell from behind me, the Space Needle that was from the 1962 World's Fair. I am in Seattle, Washington. This weekend, we had an amazing weekend where I did a number of seminars sharing the Training for Warriors system with hundreds and hundreds of people. Again, the resistance continues to spread, and today I'm getting to spend time around Seattle. I like to do that in cities and get a feel for a place and get the inspiration that I'm looking for. And it's interesting, when you think about Seattle, Hey, you've got Microsoft, you've got Amazon, you got Boeing. Hey, and everybody knows you got Starbucks. I have seen a Starbucks on every corner uh, that I've been in here. And, and what does it say to me? What does Seattle say? And hey, the Seattle Seahawks just winning the Super Bowl recently. You know what it says to me? This town says anything is possible. And what do I mean by that? Hey, hey, Amazon. You can buy anything. You can buy anything in the world and be shipped to your house in a day, right? Boeing, you can go anywhere in the world. The, the, the engines that they make, that they'll put on planes, it'll take you anywhere. Microsoft, you can make as much money as you want to make because, hey, a guy started in his garage. And then ultimately, like I said, Starbucks, Starbucks, you can get a coffee anywhere now and people will pay big money for it just because the experience. So this place, what it's reminded me, hey, anything's possible. It's got an abundance mentality. The city behind me, it's sprawling, it continues to grow. But what I'm going to challenge you is, hey, what's your mentality? Do you got an anything mentality? Anything is possible? Or are you holding yourself back right now? Do you have this scarcity mentality that you're competing with someone else or you're fighting over something else. Hey, they'll put a Starbucks right next to a Starbucks and they all succeed because of the experience and what they're delivering. So my challenge to you this week is, hey, what's your mentality? And really, before you answer too fast, think about that. Do you got a scarcity mentality or do you have an abundance mentality? Is anything possible? Because what I'm going to share with you here in the dojo is it is possible, but you've got to have that mentality first. Hey, the awareness precedes change. you got to be aware that anything is possible and then you'll start getting that thought and you'll start taking the actions that make that happen. So this week, think big. Think big for your business. Think big for your life. What is possible and make something happen because at the end of the day, we all get the same amount of time and if you're not doing the most with it, you're holding yourself back with a scarcity mentality. So hey guys, that's your motivation for this week. Think big. Think things are possible and you'll take an incredible action. I'm here in Seattle, Washington, getting my inspiration right now, sharing it with you and I'm going to keep bringing you more in the Training for Warriors Dojo.